Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences and today we are going to see how can you use Python in order to extract the information of your system. So let's first do some imports. So let's say you're writing a code in which you, you need the MAC address of your, your computer, the IP address of your computer or some system information, right? So how can you, you retrieve your system information by using Python? That is something that we are going to use. So for that we are going to import platform and then we are going to use uh, to import oh, socket yeah we are going to import regular expression so that we can uh, print out something in specific format we need PSUTIL library as well let's import them fine import is successful right so first of all let's let's print the Python version that we are using right now so let's say Python oh inside the string so we'll say python worian and here we'll say platform dot python mm, python worian right so let's run it oh let's run it so so this is a function so we we should call it great so i'm using python worian 3.8.3 which is probably probably the latest right okay so the next thing is let's print out what let's print out to see what platform I am using right and here we'll say platform dot system no platform dot system right and here we'll run it so it, it says that I'm using Windows right um, fine and then if I say okay um, you know which win uh, let's say what is the release of this platform so I'll say plat form dash release right and here I'll say platform dot release so I'm using Windows 10 right it's 10th release of this Windows and then let's say if I want to see which version of this platform am I using right so this is again something that I can easily fetch great so I'm using platform version 10 point zero point blah 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 right okay so the next thing is which architect I'm I'm using right so here I'll say architect and here I'll say platform dot machine which machine is mine so it says that this is AMD 64 right and then if I say okay print my host name for example so let's say host name and should be capital I don't know okay so here we'll say socket dot get um host name by name get host by name right so it will give me an error why because it says that so, oh so I, I should it should be get host name not get host by name so yeah so it is desktop blah 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 right now let's print out the IP address of this computer and uh, so I'll say IP address so this is mm -hmm, how can we do that so it will say socket dot get host by name and here we'll say socket dot get host name right so here we'll pass our host name and it will give us an error because it says that it takes exactly one argument and zero is giving um, get host oh this is not by name again same mistake uh, yeah it's fine so here is the IP address of, of the machine now let's print out the MAC address 
Now printing out MAC address is not a difficult thing, but there is a there there's a problem in it. And let me not tell you the problem. Let me show you the problem, right? So uh, if we want to get the MAC address, it is very easy. I'll say UUID dot um, let's say get node, right? So it will print the MAC address, but it is not in in a good format, right? It doesn't look like a MAC address. It is a MAC address, but we have to convert it into some specific string format, right? So I'll say colon dot join. I'll do some string or a string operation, right? And here I'll say regular expression this so this is why we imported the regular expression so findal and here in it we will say um two dots and then comma and then uh, by the way if you're a bit confused i'm just writing a regular expression that you don't have to be worried about if you're you're not you know the regular expression guy no no problem okay and then we are going to take its modulus with the actual address that we have. Um, yeah, so I hope it will work. Yeah, it is working. So here is the MAC address of the computer. And how, what if we want to get the, the, the processor, let's say, processor information of the computer how can we get it? We can get, say platform dot processor and here we go. Great. So we, we've got this, you know, it is, it is giving us a complete information about the processor. And then last but not the least, how can we get the information about, let's say, RAM of the, of the computer? So um, it is, again, simple thing. Uh, PSUtil and then we'll say virtual memory dot total right so we can easily get it oh it gives us an error it says that int is not callable oh I think this is like this um, yeah so this is giving us um the complete information about ram so total ram is this available is this you in used is this and free is this free and available is same um you know something like that and if you want to get this value in in gbs um you can get it but how by the way i wanted to access total can i yeah so this is my total ram and if i want to convert it into gb um, not a difficult thing to do, I think. I all I have to do is I have to divide it by one zero two four point zero and times three, right? So it will convert it into first into KBs, then MBs, and then GBs. So I have seven point six four GB of the RAM, right? Um, yeah, and if I want to, then if I want to print. GB as well. So can I do that? Yes, I can do that. Great. So this is how you can get the information of your computer. If you uh, during the code, you need your IP address, your MAC address, your RAM information, processor information, or anything like that. You can easily get it. Moreover, what you can do is, if you're using Jupyter, all you have to do is you have to write the name of library and then print, uh, write dot and then hit on tab button. It will it will open all the suggestions for you. I mean, you can explore a lot of cool functions that can give you a lot of information about your system, right? You can you can work work around with it. So please check out the link in the description and visit our website. We have a lot of free tutorials, a lot of courses for you guys that can help you uh, in your in, in building your career. Thank you.